Good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, 314 uh, 2019, and uh, I'm just coming on here today to share the things that I've gotten from the Holy Spirit. I'm going to start out with uh, speaking a little bit about the retail apocalypse that I'm being told about. That, you know, the economy is not going to hold up forever. And I saw yesterday where Paul Bagley had done this uh, uh, video where he put out the video about, you know, uh, the economy is not going to collapse in March because there was like record profits. That I mean, it went to a record high yesterday or something. They've had four plus days in a row. Well, I agree with him. The economy is not going to. I agree with that message. No, it's not going to collapse in March. But I want to come here at the same time, and I prayed about that because when I did that video a few months back, I, in the title I put uh, a recession, uh, economic recession 2019 with a question mark because, uh, and I mentioned in, a, in that video that the Lord told me that his hand was on the economy right now propping it up. If you go back to 2008 or any of these other recessions and ever follow the cycles, you would know from 2008 that once that uh, you had that drop on Wall Street, it was downhill from that point on. And the country's never fully recovered from that last um, downturn, even up to now. We've never fully recovered to now. We also know that in the history of the stock market, we already know every 10 years or cyclic, you have a 10-year uh, bull market, you have a 10-year uh, bear market. And, and so the last uh, time that we had the bear market was in uh, 2008, and 10 years is 2018. So in the fall of 2018, everything should have dropped, and the market should have started going down, But and there should have been a recession and maybe a completely economic you know, collapse of the dollar and everything. But the Lord's hand stated to buy more time for the church so that we can get done all the stuff done but between now and the rapture and get everything accomplished that he wants accomplished. And so his hand has been uh, put on the economy. And that's what you're seeing right now. And there's nothing normal about it. It's not like any other thing that's ever happened. I'm sure most people, if you stop and agree and think about it, you'll have to agree this, there's something going on here. This is not normal. And I know people would think, oh, well, yeah, men can manipulate this and and keep propping things up and printing out money and doing all this other stuff and coming up with phony figures and everything uh, and, and pool the people. But that's not what's going on right now. The, the, the Lord's hand is, is on the economy right now. But what he's telling me is it's not going to continue to stay on there from now on. And so the, the, the warning about the retail apocalypse and what's coming is still coming. And any preparation that you would be able to do in preparation for it, like diversifying your uh, portfolio or something, or, or going to a non-high-risk uh, thing and making some changes so that your losses are not going to be as great when the, everything crashes and goes down, uh, just keep in mind that his hand is not going to continue to stay on this from now on. They all, it's on there here now to buy the church some more time. And he's telling me, come on here and give this war warning about the retail apocalypse because eventually my hand's coming off of the economy because this nation is under judgment. And the only reason it's being propped up, like I said, is for the sake of the church right now. And I will do want to add, because Donald Trump did what he did with Jerusalem, and when you go back to what I said in my video yesterday about him blessing those that bless thee and cursing those that curse thee, that's why his hand has stayed on this economy and kept it propped up because of what Donald Trump's done over there with Israel. You can thank him for in part for this. And But the Lord has his plans and he has his reasons for buying his church more time because he has things for us to do. Yes, the rapture's coming, we're going to get out of here, but he's got things that he wants us to do between now and then, and that's why he's staying this economy. Imagine if everything collapsed and went down the tubes right now, and the dollar completely collapsed, so it, a lot of us wouldn't even be able to, to be on here even giving a video message anymore. We'd be lucky if we could, you know, would be able to get something, you know, to find a meal to eat or something. 
So he's keeping this thing propped up for a reason. But normally in the cycles of the history of the stock market, it should have gone down. And it, it always has historically. And so this is defying history. The history of the market's being defied. It's unprecedented. Like I said before, that word, unprecedented. So the retail apocalypse. Um, 50 companies in bankruptcy on that one thing I read. I'm going to give a couple, 17 of them, but there were 50 of them all together. Uh, and uh, what I did was I picked the ones that are long standing. Uh, Sears, the 99 cent only stores, GNC, uh, Fred's Pharmacy, J.C. Penney, Office Depot, the Vitamin Shop, Neiman Marcus, Pier 1 Imports. They were back in the 70s. I, in the end of the 70s, I remember going to Pier 1. They've been around a long time. Win Dixie Foods down in the south, a big food chain. Eddie Bauer, Pet Mart, uh, uh, Payless Shoes. They've been around since the 70s. Rockport, Toys R Us, they've been around a long time. Uh, Pacific Gas and Electric, because of the fire there in Paradise, California, that was uh, they're liable for because they didn't go fix that big electrical tower. They had notified that lady that that thing's property is on that they were supposed to do a repair. And before they could get out there and repair it, that something happened to that thing and, and sparked that fire and burn that town down there in California, and now they're getting sued for not fixing it. And then the Weinstein Company, well, we know about Harvey Weinstein in, in Hollywood, and we know what the Lord is starting to do with that, and how he's starting to expose all the corruption out there and everything that's going on out there. And, and Harvey Weinstein is just the tip of the iceberg, but they're filing bankruptcy now. But in addition, so that was 17 out of the 50 that I saw on the one video. But on another video, I saw 465 stores are going to uh, close in 48 hours in December and January when they had that, uh, you know, they suspended the uh, budget and they had uh, everything frozen. Well, you know, 465 stores closed in 48 hours. And there was a big drop in con consumer spending in the holiday season. And that's why a lot of these stores are, are going under now. Because that accounts, I believe, for 75% of the profit for the whole year that a company makes. They make between Thanksgiving and, and uh, New Year's Day. Uh, that's the way it was in a company I worked for a few years ago. 75% of his annual Income for the whole year was generated between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. It was an appliance store. And that, that's how his thing worked. A whopping 4,500 stores have been announced by retailers for the first several months of the year to close. And Tesla Auto is closing most of its showrooms across the country. And we know that 70% of our economy is consumer driven. So as more of these stores close, surely, like the Lord's telling me, his hand is not going to continue to stay on it. It's, 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 it's there for a reason right now for us to take care of business and get things done and get out these warnings. Second thing he wanted me to mention, and I took note of, was the, uh, a blackout coming. FEMA, uh, Venezuela, their power went out five days, five or six days ago, and they were blaming the U.S. for the power outage. But there's been, uh, if you watch some other videos, if you go on and just watch, uh, look up videos about uh, the power outage, you'll see that FEMA and Homeland Security have issued potential power blackouts for the future. And it may not be, you know, could be because of a big solar flare. So it doesn't have to be an EMP attack from North Korea. It can be from a big solar flare or something. But uh, at any rate, uh, in Venezuela, they blame the United States for that power outage there, and the, and the power outage happened at work time rush hour, and it was cyber attacked, and they, they're blaming the United States for it. And uh, then uh, uh, the other thing, uh, there was a video I saw uh, a warning from Anonymous, and I don't put too much stock in him, but uh, we got to understand that the new transformers, most of them come from foreign countries. I think a lot of our parts, electrical parts and stuff like that are supplied by China. 
And one here's the biggest thing that was convincing that something might, might be happening was one quarter of the nuclear power plants are going off the electrical grid in the month of April. A quarter of our nuclear power plants are going off the grid in April. Now, why, I don't know. Uh, do they know something we don't know? Uh, but, you know, of course, if the power goes out in big areas or all the way across the whole country, you know, again, our our ability to do these videos and put out these warnings could, you know, it could, it could be greatly hampered or uh, discontinued for periods of time. And finally, the Lord wanted me to mention your redemption draws nigh because of this Daniel 9, 27 covenant with many because of the announcement coming up here on the 21st of the Jewish Messiah, because they're talking about wanting to build the third temple, and because of the signs that we're seeing from Matthew 24, the earthquakes and the rumors of war, and this power blackout grid uh, threats, and uh, talk about World War III we're seeing every day. And uh, the Lord, uh, Holy Spirit gave me Luke 21, 28, and when uh, these things begin to come to pass, when they begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draws nigh. And don't listen to the mockers and scoffers uh, because time is running out. He wants us to keep busy. There's so much stuff still left to do. There's a lot left to do and little time to do it. And uh, the final thing that I wanted to mention for this uh, video is I got a two-word prophetic word from the Holy Spirit yesterday after I finished my prayers and I laid down and I was getting ready to get a few hours sleep before work. And uh, the Holy Spirit gave me a two-word prophetic word, which I'm going to talk about in the next upload and share with you in the next upload along with uh, the other messages that he gives me. And I just want to see if anybody else, I want to put it out there. I want to see if anybody else uh, has received anything similar and might be able to give me some insight into what, what's being said. But there is an important event coming up at a certain time this year, and it's being pointed out to me. And so I want to share it with uh, all of you tomorrow, and we'll talk about that tomorrow on the uh, on the next upload. In the meantime, God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, and like we just said in Luke uh, 21, uh, 28, when these things begin to come to pass, brothers and sisters, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draws nigh. Uh, time's almost up.